very last video of the year. We're here a few days before Christmas in the historic port of Whitehaven. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what we can find um, and we'll tell you something about the history as well. Yeah, as well, yeah. And we're wearing our Christmas jumpers. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and it's cold. Yay! Yay. Anyway. Yay. My very first find of the day, and it is a blank piece of china. Well, hopefully we'll do much better than that. But it is a new location, isn't it? So you never know how it's going to turn out. Oh, I see a little bit of blue down here. Well, Mum spotted it first, actually. And it's not very old and not very interesting. So we'll leave that and mum's just found a brick it says Whitehaven or did say Whitehaven <laughs> and um, well we're in Whitehaven so that pretty much figures but bricks ain't really my thing so I'm gonna leave it It's a very cold day. I mean, it is only four days till Christmas, actually. And there's my first piece of sea glass. Looks like a nice big chunky bit as well. So that's a good start. But there doesn't look like there's much um, on this beach. As you can see, it's very sandy. So we're gonna head around the bay, I think, in a little bit and see if we can find something a little bit more shingly. Hmm, maybe I can make it around, what do you think? Without getting soaking wet, oh. Waterproof shoes, right, I'll make it around really quickly. Ah! <laughs> oh, I did it! Oh, there is another beach around here. Ah, this one looks more shingly, so we might have better luck finding things on here. You can see it's nice and rocky and shingly, and that's just what you want to see when you're beachcombing. So I'm going to try and get around the water and get back to Mum and tell her about this spot. Oh, let's try and not get soaking wet. Quick, 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 go, go, go! <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry. Ah. See? This is more like it, isn't it? Look at all the mussels and barnacles and seaweed on this wall. It's an amazing habitat for wildlife. Look, 
all like the muscles or cockles and the limpets, barnacles, some snails on there as well. That's beautiful. Mussels, oh, the mussels. Mussels. Oh, mussels. Look, oh, some seagrass down Oh, there. yeah, that's quite a large piece here, isn't it? It's quite a lovely aqua colour. Yeah. Nice bit of Victorian glass that'll be in the bag. Yeah, that's a beautiful rock. Got a little strata in it. There's a nice piece of seagrass. Another bit of seagrass. Lovely. And um, jam jar, marmalade jar. Now this is pretty much every beach you'll ever go on in Britain. I'll have this on it. And I see a bit of glass here. You can see how it has wire inside of it. I see a lot of people finding this and like, why is this wire inside of it? Well, this is safety glass. So if the, if the glass is shattered or broken, it doesn't, you know, fly all over the place. The the metal inside kind of ties it all together. We used to have it on the windows, on the doors in school. Safety glass. There's a tiny little sea glass nugget there. It's a beautiful colour, so I'll keep that. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Kind of bit. It's got some sort of jasper. Isn't yeah, it? it's got like veins and strata of black and red in it. It's really pretty. There's two huge bits of sea glass here. See that lovely oh. aqua chunk there, and then one just down here as well. I love the colour of it. It's beautiful, it's like isn't it? Pieces of frozen sea. The colours of this, the rocks on this beach is actually really pretty. It's quite a, uh, it's quite a palette of colours down here. Although there's not very much to find, unfortunately. Another little bit of sea glass here. It's quite nice and chunky and well worn, so I'll keep it. I've got some safety glass. I found some safety glass too. I've got two little chunks. Look. Some more safety glass. Oh, there seems to be quite a lot of it down here. It's a nice There's a tiny chunk. little nugget there as well. Take the little nugget. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm a, a little, little nugget. nugget. <laughs> <laughs> we said at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> a bit of green. That's a bit of green. Hold on. I just spotted a few bits of glass up here, but Mum spotted a good pit. She said, look at that nugget. I love finding the little nuggety bits. Look at that one. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh. Wow. So juicy. It's so like a chunk of ice. Oh, just it. spotted something sticking out here. That's strange. I think it's ceramic. But it's got like a... I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I think it's the end of a spark plug. An end of a spark plug? Oh! <laughs> That's what I think it is. An old spark plug. Well, we'll put it in the bag anyway. It's very salmon coloured, isn't it? It actually looks like a bit of cooked salmon, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a very pretty colour. It's an interesting shaped something here. No idea what that... Oh! I think I know what this is! Can you tell what that is? I can. It's got a hole th right through the middle. And it's white on the back. It's a bit of a thermometer. That's really interesting. It's a very cold day. I found a really chunky looking bit of sea glass here though. 
Oh wow, that is very chunky. Look at that. It's a huge blob. Maybe the base of some kind of bottle or something. It's hard to say. found quite a few bits of sea glass on this beach. There's another nice bit of safety glass. So if you're looking for a beach to come to to find sea glass, I think Whitehaven is a very good place for that. Mum's all the way down there. I wonder if she's found anything interesting. This conglomerate of stones is really interesting actually. It's like a um, marble or granite in there. Little chunks of it. Oh that's really pretty. A pretty little shell. Almost glowing. <laughs> oh, it's a giant hagstone. It's the a hole through there. The Whoop, got my whole finger through it. <laughs> Fancy that for a ring, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely rock you've got. <laughs> yeah, check out the size of that rock. But we're going back um, around the harbour to another beach in hope that we can find something there. So I'll see you a little bit further along. Wow. It's very dramatic up here. of that harbour and we're on a different beach and it looks very promising and um, the sun's setting you can see you over there it's going down so we're coming to the end of the day but hopefully there's some some good things to find <laughs> right down here sorry I'm forgetting to look at the lens I'm supposed to be looking there <laughs> hello <laughs> here. Oh, and there's a rim of a pot. Have you got some? Nice bit of pottery here. Oh, and a bit of pottery here. That's lovely. Some glass there. Some glass there. Here's it's a bit rough. And more glass. And more glass. Oh, it's all over the place. 
There's loads of it. Anything? I've got another handle here, look. Oh, that's quite pretty actually. It is. It's got something on it. Well, there's a few pieces. Huh? See, that's a nice bit. Oh, got a few pretty. bits. You've got a giant bit of glass as well. Good. Quite a few bits on this beach. There's actually loads of bits and bobs on this beach, isn't there? Look. Look at this like kick up, like the puntal of a bottle. Oh, look. Yeah. And this I think is a piece of a kiln stilt. A kiln stilt, yeah, we found I found a bit of those of that on the other beach. And a pretty piece of blue. And a bit of blue. And now you can have my strange novel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's another bit of blue there. That's the blue in the bag. It's a very promising beach actually. Seems to be quite a lot here. Oh, and I spot another bit of starfish. A dead starfish, unfortunately. And the top a very pretty shell. Oh, look at this piece of blue, Alex. Oh, that's a nice bit of lime green. Oh, that's a nice blue. Get that blue. Lovely. There we go. It's and funny how different it's funny how different the beaches are. See, we, we were just on the other side of the um, the other side of the harbour here, and this beach seems to have a lot more on it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pretty. The details. It's like it's been sliced in half, doesn't it? Yeah. Cross section. It's beautiful lots of bits of pottery and there's some a kiln stilt there and uh, that's a really nice bit of worn sea glass there's another bit of pottery here another big handful bottom of a buckle we've got buckle. a few bit buckle <laughs> oh that's a strange half round thing that is one of the legs of a kiln stilt arthur kiln stilt <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that mitt's quite nicely worn. Here's a large bit. Big chunky bit. That's the edge of a bottle. It's probably a cod bottle. There you go. <laughs> There's so much here to find. There's a little blue shard. Oh wow, that's a beautiful colour. Gorgeous. I'm so well rounded, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you just how much sea glass there is. If I just pick up everything in one spot. So much of it, look, all over the place. There's a lip behind me. None of those bits are worn enough for me so I'm going to leave them for the sea to tumble up. But I think I spotted, yeah there we go, that one. See that's lovely and beautifully rounded and that's what I collect personally, what I like to collect. Oh do you want to collect those? Collect all the sea glass. Oh. But this is, I think, flag. Well, maybe we should collect up all the bits and we can sell them in our shop. What do you guys think? Do you think we should just collect everything up? I think we should. I'll put them in our bag then. Well, I'm picking up all the glass <laughs> because I've got a bit of idea that I might, Mum and I might just announce at the end since it is Christmas. Oh, there's like some blue milk glass. That's pretty. I'm missing so much here because my eyes are just going all over the place. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just nearly walked past this. Oh. It's in situ. 
beautiful cob marble. Look at that. It looks like the moon. I love cod marbles, they're so pretty. Oh, isn't that lovely? I'm sure mum will make a necklace out of that cod marble, but she's just said something. I'll have to tell her about the marble as well. What have you found? What's that? Oh, a marble, a bit of a marble. Well, you'll never guess what I found. And look at the colour of this. Oh, wow. That's mad. I have no doubt that that is UV glass. Oh, wait, I've just spotted a bit of glass. Can you see that? See the colour of that? Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. Look at these together. Wow. Whoa. That's so pretty. Well, look what I found. Look at this. Oh. There, it's two marbles. I found a marble. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, this is a really good beach, isn't it, so far? It is. Oh, that's pretty. Flowers. I love flowers, finding flowers on the shards, on the pottery shards. I can see a tiny, tiny little bit of yellow here. Make a nice little ring or something. Oh. Now, that is a bit of cod bottle. You can see the pinch there. It's been pinched in at the neck. So that cod marble that I found might have just come out of this very bottle. Who knows? Look at the colour of this bit here. Oops. You can't really see it on the camera, the colour. It's just so blue. Wow. It's like a bit of slag blue. A bit of bonfire glass. Oh, and I found another pontal. Look. Or mermaid's nipples, as I believe they're called. Look at this um, mermaid's oh. nipple and that blue bit. Wow. Funny, really interesting blue bit there. Yeah. Look yeah. at this, it's got a leaf on it. I think it's a leaf. Is it a leaf? And it look, kind of looks like it's marbled or something. Mm. Marbled pottery. In the bag. Look at that bag. It's wow look how much we've got <laughs> that's not including what's in my camera bag we've got stuff in here as well the... Ooh, that's an interesting bit kind of like art deco kind yeah. of vibe going on i can hardly carry this it's it's so look at that that's just so all in this one little bit of beach crazy i really need some gloves <laughs> my poor hands are about to drop off they're so cold, especially the hand holding the camera. Oh, look, there's a lovely bit of aqua colour. Lovely. It's not very well worn, but it's still very pretty. The more you look, the more you see. That looks like a little wheel. Lots of iron working slag here as well. This sort of stuff. Loads of it all over the beach. Well, this was a very industrial town back in the day. That's another nice chunk of aqua. I bet if we shone a UV torch over this beach as well, we'd have loads of glowing glass. Wow! Look at the colour of that! That's amazing! That's crazy. Give that here. <laughs> wow. I think the base of a bottle or, or a lid or, a, or lid. a jar lid or something. That's well, here amazing. I'll show you what I found. Wait, Look at good. this. It's a little scene, but I'll zoom in. Hold on. What's the scene of? Can you see in the corner there? Can oh. you see the clay pipe? Looks like oh, a warden's wow. pipe just and coming a, down there. A teapot. There's a teapot and teacups oh, and a little is, clock on the wall. That is amazing. Isn't that cute? That will make the best. Wow. The best I little little pendant, won't it? Yeah. And anyway, we're going to pick up all of these bits here. This is like a bit of willow this pattern. Is treasure corner. Oh. Well, that's interesting. It's like a kiln stilt, but it's decorated. See the oh, patterns on it? Yeah. Never seen that before. 
No. It's Maybe really... it was um, pressed up against something. Mm. God, our bag's full, isn't it? <laughs> wow. There's this odd bit here. I can barely carry this. So happy. Put that in. Small pottery. Lovely. Oh, uh, look, I have found another marble. Look. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yay. Oh, another cod marble. Look at our treasure. Oh, oh my. There's so much. <laughs> look how much there is. Oh, Come on, let's keep... We'll have to keep going quickly. The sun's going down. Well, the sun's already down. There's still more to find. Oh. <gasps> oh, what is that? Oh, I thought that was a marble. I thought that was a marble, but it's like... Um, oh, maybe it's been a lid. But it is marble. It's not a marble, but it's made of marble. And look at this. Oh, it's a jar lid or a teapot lid. Probably a big jar lid. Because we've actually got a jar with a big lid like that at home, I think. It's getting very dark. My camera makes it look a lot lighter than it really is. But it's getting very dark. We can barely see, but we don't want to leave. Oh no. You got a nice bit. Oh. Oh, you know what? That is the bottom of a... Um, it's beautiful. It's like the bottom of a torpedo bottle, isn't it? Yeah. My first bit of clay pipe today. And it's tiny. All the things on this beach and that's the only bit of clay pipe. Hold it. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it's most certainly been a good day. Look, I think I've not found another spark plug. Da da! It's quite <laughs> it's nice. Quite like our old spark plugs. Not many people say that. It's getting very dark now. Hello! Hi! So it's getting quite dark, it is actually dark yeah. and we can't actually physically beach comb anymore because no. <laughs> we can't <laughs> see. We would if we could, yeah, but we have loads of sea glass. Look at this. Look at this. We can hardly <laughs> lift it. <laughs> we have loads of sea glass and pottery here. So we've decided since it's Christmas that we're actually going to give some of this away to one lucky um, subscriber. So one of you guys, I'm not looking at the lens still. So one of you guys are gonna give gonna this away too. So stay tuned for the end after the roundup and um, so you know so you can find out yeah, find out then how to enter. <laughs> <laughs> We're tired. It's, yeah. been, it's, been, it's a been a long, long beach coming day. <laughs> anyway, bye bye, we'll see you again in a minute. Bye, happy Christmas. Christmas Eve right now. I thought it was a perfect time to 
do the roundup for what we found a few days ago on our Christmas uh, beachcombing trip. So as you can see, we have, we found a lot. <laughs> a load of glass, look how much glass. Incredible, and quite a lot of pottery as well. So I'll talk you through a few of the bits we found. So we found three um, little cod marbles here. One of them's a little bit um, melted up. So maybe it was in a fire or something burnt in a rubbish dump. But three beautiful little marbles that we can make jewellery out of in the future. And um, some really beautiful chunky bits of glass. I think this is our favourite piece of glass. This. Um, aqua chunk. I think it, it might be a lid by the looks of it. It's a very chunky lid but we think that's what it is. So we've got some uh, kick-ups here, some little uh, pontals. This bit would have been the inside of the bottle and that would have been the bottom of the bottle. Quite a few of those. Um, some with writing on. Now I think this is part of a cod bottle that these cod marbles probably would have come out of. And we can kind of see on here just the end of Whitehaven. Just says Haven. So that would have been a local bottle. Um, this says Ton, which could be another local uh, town or village. Um, this looks like it also said Whitehaven, E-N. And this little bit here says the same. I think that also said Whitehaven. So we've got lots of local bits of uh, of glass, probably cod bottles, because that is the neck of a cod bottle. And yeah, really chunky glass. So most of this is Victorian, actually. Um, this bit is actually, in fact, UV glass. A little bit mum found if I get the torch. But as we suspected, it is actually UV glass. If I shine my torch on there, it glows. Isn't it pretty? So, there's not much else I can say about the glass other than it's really lovely. <laughs> really lovely to look at. Now, this is quite a huge bit. And I think this is probably the bottom of a torpedo bottle. So it's a bottle without a base. So they um, they lay on their sides um, and it's something to do with the fizziness in the bottle, keeping that in there, stopping the cork from popping out the top, something like that. Okay, so I have got a jar here, put a little bit of ribbon on it, <laughs> and I'm going to fill it up with some of our beautiful glass. So which pieces would you guys like to see? in our jar, I wonder, um, maybe our UV bit of glass, that's one of them, and some nice blue bits, that's like a bit of blue bonfire glass, um, that's got a bubble in it, a little bubble in the blue glass, okay so I think I'll just pick up some handfuls and put them in. So to enter, first of all, you have to be a subscriber to our channel, of course. And um, if you leave down in the comments below this video how much sea glass you think is in this jar, um, the closest person to guess correctly um, will win the entire jar of sea glass. So best of luck to all of you who are entering. Hello. Hello. So, we'd just like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters and subscribers and all the people who have visited our shop and bought things and helped to support us in our new adventure um, on YouTube yeah. in 2019. So, we couldn't have done it without you and we've been blown away by the amazing comments that yeah. you've left. Yeah. It's really been heartwarming and mm -hmm. very encouraging. So, thank you so much. For all your support. So, thank you. And I want to have a, make a special thank you to our patrons, um, John, Karen, Catherine, Robert, Susan, and Leslie. So thank you thank so you. much thank to you. all of those patrons, whether you donate $3 or $20, thank you so much. 
um, it really helps uh, fund our adventures. Yeah. And especially, so we can bring them to you. Yes, exactly. We've done them for many years, but this is the first time we've sort of televised them, so to speak. Well, we've not made video. We've not made any videos. We've not made any videos. <laughs> but we've been, we've been mud logging, beach combing, yeah. and crystal hunting for. So this is the first time forever. we've. Uh, shared them with the rest of the world yeah. and um, we're loving it. So. We are, we were very nervous to begin with but you guys have made it so... A lot easier. For yes, us. a lot <laughs> easier and we really, really enjoy making these videos for you so thank you. And, uh, yeah. and now uh, Alex wants to say oh, yeah. special our, our announcement. Giveaway. Our giveaway. So we've got this jar full of sea glass goodies that we found in this video. And if you can guess down in the comments how, mu how much sea glass is in this jar, the closest person, Clo um, closest subscriber, the closest, subscriber, <laughs> the closest guest, wins an entire jar of sea glass. And we'll send it to you wherever you are. In so the world. You're all welcome to take part. So make sure you subscribe. If you're a subscriber. And it's really easy, just guess. And you <laughs> never know, you could win that. Yeah. For nothing. <laughs> So, uh, so now we just like to say happy Christmas again and happy New Year, and we'll see you again in 2020. Bye. Bye. It's freezing. <laughs> oh, so graceful. <laughs> it's so graceful. Photo bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's your head. <laughs> <laughs>